Hello, it's Mark Matorch Chief from Mark on 3D, and today we're going to be creating this DIY facial motion capture helmet. So first off, it's going to start with the helmet, 25 bucks, and then we've got two selfie sticks, each five dollars each, and then we've got some zip ties. Beautiful. Let's start. So the way this is going to work is that I'm going to have this selfie stick pointing this way to start off with, come all the way there, and kind of shoot off. And so we're going to have a, it on an angle. So it's going to be dangling down. And obviously we've got to extend it about 800 mil, half a mil, half a meter out. But this has got um, enough length on it. So let's do it on the front one. The reason why I've selected this helmet is because it holds tighter into the head. I've actually got a medium helmet, so it's not... Um, a large helmet. I do have a big head, but I tested in the shops. My head's a lot tighter in this one, and that's what I want. I don't want this to be moving around. So let's just tie this up again, bring this up and around. Okay, so I'm going to bring that in. Okay, let's do what we just did. Come on. All right, so. That's sitting like that quite nicely. Still got a bit of room here. Actually, I might try and just scoot it back a little bit. Okay, that's fine. So when this strap comes on, hopefully it just sits along there. So the next thing I'm gonna do is thread it through here and then come around and we'll bring, oops, got it back the wrong way around. There we go. Thread it back through here and put it in here. And so the reason for that is so it sits a little bit more secure. And when I come to do this section, it's already stuck in there. So let's just try and really get that going. So now when it comes time and I need to put pressure on here, it's not gonna go anywhere because down under here, this is where it's being jammed at the moment, which is exactly what we want. We want this to be not moving that much. So putting one here should fix that problem. So through the middle, through there, through there. Let's put it in there. That is now actually, that is firmly stuck in there. So we have done this one first and then, oh, now I can actually move that one around. Let's see if I can pull this down a little bit more. There's actually not a lot of wiggle in there at all now, which is sick. Just make sure it's all nice and tight. This one's feeling a little bit loose. How are we looking? I'm fairly happy with that. Now, what are we going to do about this end here? So first off, I'm going to take this one off, get this other one, and I'm just going to unscrew it because I just need this piece. Um, I initially thought of doing um, two ways. So coming from, coming from either side of the helmet. Uh, however, that didn't really work out as it actually has to come quite low. So now what we have, we put this one in like so, and that's it. We don't actually really need to bolt this in because there is enough uh, friction here when we squeeze it in that it'll hold. So let me just quickly do that. So there we have it. We've got the phone attached and that is not going anywhere at all. There is a little bit of wiggle room though. And I believe that's because of um, probably, oof, Just a little bit of everything, I think. But I think that should be enough to hold it in place. All right, so let's put it on and we'll test it out. All right, let's put the helmet on, see what it's like. Now making it as tight as possible around here, which isn't too bad, okay. Cool bands, and then we have it. So we've got our character rig here. That's pretty cool. It's a little bit bouncy. Um, I think a little bit more adjustment needs to be done, 
But other than that, that's yeah, yeah, buddy, booyah. So if you like this, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button, and then I'll show you what I'm actually going to be using this for in upcoming videos.